Hello everyone, how's it going? Sorry I had technical difficulties. I can never get this live set up correctly. So hello and welcome. I am doing two Goodwill outlet hauls today. I have had these two hauls waiting to be filmed for YouTube. My dogs are barking, mailman. Hello everyone. I've got two hauls and I didn't want to record a video. I actually wanted to go live and just talk with people because sometimes filming a YouTube haul by yourself is kind of lonely and a little bit boring. So I wanted to go live. Hi, Liz. How's it going? Hi, Jody. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Gina. How is everyone? Thanks for showing up and hanging out with me. I just wanted to go live. Like I just said a second ago, I just want to go live and I don't know, hang out. So I didn't want to record by myself because it's boring. <laughs> hi, Claudine. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Mindy. Hi, Jennifer. How is everyone? What's everyone up to? It's kind of a weird time to go live, 2 o'clock or 5 o'clock if you're on the East Coast or somewhere in between if you are on any other coast. Hello. Okay. So the two hauls that I have are from the past couple weeks. I went, not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before that to the Seattle Goodwill outlet with some friends. Hi, everyone. Uh, and it wasn't so great. <laughs> I went with my friends, Brittany and Hillary, and we were there for probably about, I don't know, an hour or two, and it was just dismal. It was a really sad day. So I didn't really want to do that haul on its own because it just felt like it wouldn't be a lot to show. And so then I went back. I'm trying to think when I went back. I don't know. I went back another day, but I went to our Goodwill outlet in Everett, which is north of Seattle, and I got more stuff. So I thought, let's just combine it all and make one big happy haul. So I think this is most of the items. I've been photographing some of it, and so it's kind of a combination of a lot of different things. So hopefully there's nothing in here that anyone's like, hey, that's from another haul. Because <laughs> I tried to, you know, when you're photographing stuff, and then I don't want to put it away because I want to do a haul. So anyways, it just gets weird. But yeah, for I'd Hustle, you've been to the Everett one. It's crazy. It is crazy, but it's not as crazy as Seattle. Se Seattle Goodwill Outlet is a little bit next level. So is my video and sound okay? I'm using a different computer to film this live on. So if it sounds good, just let me know. Give me a thumbs up or something like that. So hi, Shannon. I'm glad you caught me live. It's kind of a weird time. It's later than usual. Okay, good. I'm glad it's good. Hi, Bill. How's it going? Okay, so um, I don't know where to start off. I guess I'll start off with some of my accessories. So if you like accessories, the first half will be accessories and then the last half will be clothes. So the first item is this vintage woven purse with this gold chain strap. The brand is called Vanessa and it's made in China, but I looked up the comps and they were pretty decent and it's in really great condition. It's nice and clean on the inside. So, you know, I know that woven purses were like the thing all last summer, but whatever. I grabbed it anyway. Okay. The next item I grabbed, this was funny. So if you've watched any of my hauls before, you know, I like going through, well, I love digging through the accessories, but I love going in and looking at them after people have already dug through them because there's a lot of things that fall to the bottom, like small, smaller items that people just don't look at. And you can find some gems in there. So this was one of them. At first I was like, what does this say? I, I thought it was like a dog chain or, or, you know, like a dog collar, but it's so little. It looks like a bracelet and I've got old lady eyes. And so I asked my friend, Brittany, I said, what does it say on here? And it's marked by Mark Jacobs. So uh, that was a good thing to pick up. It's just a pink leather bracelet. It's got some wear on it. I mean, I cleaned it up with a leather wipe. If you've watched any of my videos, you also know my efforts are kind of minimal in cleaning up items. So Anyways, it's just a bracelet and I don't know, the comps weren't like crazy or anything on it, but you know, it cost me almost nothing. I'm trying to think how much I pay by the pound. I think it's either $1.49 or $1.59. Somebody can correct me if they know otherwise. 
Seattle shoppers, please. <laughs> so if you get zero fifty pounds, it's like a dollar forty nine, dollar fifty nine, and then I think it's like a dollar twenty nine if you, I don't know, if you hit like seventy five. <laughs> what am I thinking? And then it's eighty nine cents a pound if you go to a hundred. So somebody please correct me. So on a great day, I'm paying eighty nine cents a pound, and then on bad day, I'm paying whatever it is, one forty nine or one fifty nine. So yeah. Um, hopefully the chat is still going. It, mine seemed to have stopped. So if somebody could, you know, type something and say, say something that'll make me feel better. Um, okay. The next thing I got is this Kangol, Kangol, is that how it's pronounced? Vintage hat. Uh, it's hundred percent wool made in England. It says, you can see it's like an older style for sure. I can't remember the comps on it. Sorry, maybe 20 bucks. I'm guessing. Okay, good. Glad it still sounds good. Okay, thank you guys. This was kind of a weird one that I grabbed, but I thought it looked really cool. It's this vintage passport holder. I did see some that sold on eBay, so that made me feel confident enough to buy it. That's the name of the brand, Trafalgar. I'm guessing that translates to travel gear. I don't know. I just started a Depop page, so that's like something if I haven't already listed it on there, we'll be going on there. So yeah. Um, hi guys, we're just joining. Hi, Millie and Monica. Um, I got this California bag. I don't know, it's like nothing special. It's just like a little canvas bag, but I like buying canvas bags and it appears to be in pretty much new condition. There's no tags or anything on it other than probably made in China. So I'm guessing it's like Target or something. I have no idea. I got this, it was new in box. It's a Caseology phone, it's for an iPhone 7. I like buying them when they're for more current phones. So I think I listed that for like 10 bucks or something like that. Um, this is, I'm like trying to think if I just sent out the wrong item to somebody. Hmm, we're gonna find out. I may have sold this already. <laughs> So mm, we'll have to correct this. But anyways, it's a fossil bag and it's a backpack also as well as a crossbody bag. Um, yeah, I think I sold it and I sent somebody the wrong fossil bag. So we're gonna have to rectify that. See what you get on a live video, honesty of all sorts. Okay, it, I may have sent the right one, I can't remember. <laughs> Hi Maria, um, Maria's in the chat and I just met her last week at the Goodwill outlet. Maria, if it should be in here, that bag that you gave me. So stay tuned. I will show it. Okay. This is just like a little Vera Bradley wallet, cosmetic bag. I don't know. Um, Vera Bradley stuff still sells for me. So I pick it up when I find it. Here's another one with something that just fell out. I have no idea. Uh, this one's just like a cosmetics travel bag. So I don't know why I'm putting stuff up here. This is like the ledge in my bedroom and everything is probably going to fall in like the next minute, but oh well. Yeah, Bill, it does happen to all of us. You send out the wrong thing sometimes, but it's about how you handle it, right? That's how customer service works. Okay, uh, Kate Spade sunglass case. I like to pick up sunglass cases. If you can find them at the bins, that's a great deal. I can usually sell them for between 10 to $20, depending on the brand. I always pick up Kate Spade ones because people like them. You know, a lot of times people just buy pairs or Maybe they bought a pair used or they bought a pair at, you know, like TJ Maxx or something and it doesn't come with the case. So now they want a case for it. So that's where I come in. Uh, I got this John Varvatos canvas and faux leather. I don't even know if this is canvas bag. It's got some, a little bit of wear to it, which I think I disclosed in the listing. So it's just like a weekender bag. Okay, next is this little Vera Bradley coin purse. I have sold these before, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks. So yeah, uh, this I was super stoked to get. I'm gonna keep this for myself. It's like a mailbag, you know, put your packages and stuff. And my last name starts with an S. So how appropriate was that? Ta-da. All right, next I have a Patagonia scarf. If I can show you. <laughs> it's just a black fleece Patagonia scarf and to my delight it was new with tags it doesn't say the original price but yeah just a nice lightweight fleece scarf okay this is what brand are you oh it's called Kelsey Dagger 
Mm, you're probably not going to be able to see that. It's K-E-L-S-I. I was not familiar with this brand, but I looked up comps and they were pretty good. There's my, there's some mild wear, mild to heavy, like right here on the, like where the straps meet, but still in good condition, has life left in it. It's a leather bag. If I had to guess, I think the comps were like 30, maybe give or take a few. Uh, what else did I grab? Okay, this is... What are you? Oh, it's fossil. And yeah, nothing special about that there. <laughs> it's just a fossil bag. I will probably take some leather cleaner to this. The lighting is kind of weird here, but this is like a maroon burgundy red. Just a little shoulder bag. Fossil purses, I like picking them up or bags. It sells. It's a brand, like a handbag brand that people look for. But yeah, I'll probably take, I was gonna say like a leather white, but even maybe some of that Doc Martens, what is it called, Wonder Balsam or whatever, I feel like would breathe a little bit more life into this. So I may do that. Uh -uh -uh. The next item I got, I don't think this is anything. The brand is called Donna Dixon. And I think I might keep this for myself because it's just really cool looking. It's a vintage purse. I don't think this is like real animal skin or anything. It does have a metal zipper, which I think is sometimes an indication of an item being vintage, but please someone correct me. Uh, there's no tags in here or anything. Oh, it says made in China. So I don't know, this could be just some little crappy boutique brand, but I just like the purse. So that one's gonna stay with me. Uh, Liz says super cool. Okay, if I have your approval, Liz, then I feel better about life. Okay, this next bag is, oh, Radley London. And I've heard of it. I'm sorry, I don't remember the comps on it. If somebody knows how good or bad Radley London is, let me know. It does have some wear to it. So again, I'm gonna have to clean it up as best as I can. Maybe a leather wipe and, I don't know, just trimming some of like the little strings here. It does have this little fob hanging off it with the dog. I can't remember what comps were, guys. I mean, I could look it up while we're sitting here, but I'm not gonna. But anyways, it was good enough for me to pick up. So um, here's a receipt. What day was this from? Oh, this is from when I went to Everett. On clothes and textiles and rounding up, because it's that time of the year where they ask you to round up, I spent like 60 bucks. So there's one of the receipts. I don't know that I have the other one. Um, this is an Ipsy bag. If you've watched any of my other videos, I'm still collecting those to send to Ipsy give back bags. It's an Instagram account. You should go check it out. Okay, so this is from my new friend, Maria. <laughs> it's a Harley Davidson. Um, I think it goes like on the motorcycle, like a little bag for your motorcycle. <laughs> Uh, I was listening to some headphones and she asked me if I wanted it. And I was like, well, yeah, I do want it. How'd she know? And then she said she'd watch some of my videos. So that's how she knew. So it's a great reason to make haul videos because then people will give you stuff that they know you like. So thank you so much, Maria. I think the comps I looked it up were like 30 plus. So maybe I owe you a coffee or something next time. Uh, another Ipsy bag. Let's wonder how many I grabbed this time. This is a Bagalini bag, there it is. It's like, they make travel bags. So it does have the crossbody strap for it. I think I just sold one of these recently. They do sell fairly well for me. I wanna say I, I'm like quickly, and then I usually get like 15 to $20 for them. So if they're in good condition and you get them at a low price, as I do, they're great for traveling. I just took one on my trip that I went on recently and then I sold it. This is a free people bag. They're linen, I think. I don't know what they're made out of. You can usually find these in bins at the bins. I like to lot them up, 10 of them or more, as many as you can find and then sell them off. Uh, I think I've made, you know, on a lot of 10 before, like somewhere between 20 and $30. So for something being so lightweight, you know, what do people do with them? I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, so this I was like skeptical of, but I'm fairly certain it's real. It is a Burberry blue label. I'll look inside to correct myself, but it's a Burberry blue label little purse. I don't know, is this a satchel? 
would you call this a satchel? <laughs> um, so I, I looked at the tag at first and I was like, that's not real Burberry. And then I started looking up comps and yeah, other people have sold this. So uh, it's kind of hard to see, but Burberry London blue label. So that's a thing. Um, and it does have similar tags on the inside to other ones that have sold. So unless you know otherwise and want to inform me, I think it's real. I don't know. There we go. Burberry. So I was excited to find that. Um, what else do I have? More Ipsy bags. A plethora of them. There's some layer. Do you guys pick up accessories? I feel like not a lot of people pick up accessories. Are there other accessory people out there? I just love accessories. So I grab stuff that I think I would like or I think is cool. I don't know. I don't necessarily have a lot of knowledge though, other than my own taste. <laughs> so this, as far as I know, is real. It's Dooney and Burke. And you can see there's the Dooney and Burke there. It does need like a lint roll. There's like some hairs and stuff on it. And then there is like, I don't know what this is, like water spots or something on the leather. I don't know what that is there. There's some funk there. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's pretty clean. It's missing the shoulder strap. Um, it does have, you know, the tag that appears to be what they have in authentic ones and the serial number there. So there we go. A Dooney and Burke bag. There we have it, folks. Uh, uh, uh. You guys like accessories. Awesome. Mm, what is this? Maria? Oh, I do like coffee. <laughs> um, well, I'm glad that you said hi. I've, you know, that's, the beauty of reselling and going to the bins. You can meet and talk with new people, which is really awesome. And everybody has different knowledge and people are willing to share stuff. So yeah, that's one of the reasons I love the bins. Oh, here's my other receipt. So when I went to Seattle, I paid 32. So all of this, which there's more coming, I spent $92 total. I did grab a pair. I have been avoiding shoes like the plague. I just don't like listing them. And so you know, I shouldn't buy them. However, if they are a sure thing, there's just some brands that I like picking up. I like, I like picking up dance goes. I like picking up like for shoes. I like picking up natives or bogs, sometimes Crocs, just like brands that I'm comfortable with. So women's shoes, I like dance goes. What else do I like? I don't know. I think I just like dance goes chacos. Okay, so anyways, here's a pair of dance goes that I grabbed. They still have the rubber band on them. I did find the other one. I have sold this exact style before, and I feel like I sold it for like something ridiculous, like $50 to $75. I know, crazy. This is a smaller size, so I don't know if I'll get as much for it, but there's only one way to find out. Okay, and I do need to clean them up. That's another reason I don't like doing shoes is I don't enjoy cleaning them, but I know people do enjoy cleaning shoes, and that's a reason for you to buy them then. Uh, there is another one of these, but it's out in my hallway, but it's a Chaco. <laughs> so I also like selling these because people like these. Um, let's see. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna do something here. Thank you for moderating for me, Tori. I appreciate it. Bill, I'm going to make you a moderator too, because that will be helpful for me. <laughs> um, okay, so now moving on to the clothes. Here's a couple of things that I'm going to keep for myself. So this is not super exciting, but this is Universal Thread, which is Target. It's a size extra large. It's inside out, but, you know, there it is. These I'm also going to keep for myself if they look cute. Again, it's Target. It's Wild Fable if you've ever seen this brand from them, they are an extra, extra large and they're cropped. I don't know if this will look good on me, but I'll try it on. So we'll see how that works. <clears throat> Let's see. Did that work? What are you guys up to today? You guys listing shipping. I just finished my shipping in the nick of time too, because my mailman showed up very shortly afterwards. Okay. So I found a cache dress and I like picking up cache. This one says cache Lux which I thought was kind of interesting. Can you see that? There you go, Lux. And it was new with tags, originally $218. So I'm always so surprised to find cache because I thought it went out of business and yet I still find it everywhere. So 
yeah, I don't know. But anyways, it's this pretty dress. It's a size eight, like probably a nice career piece. It's like black and brown kind of has the scaly look. So there's that. Oh, here's another random accessory. This I thought would be nice in my little Depop store that I'm starting. It's just kind of this 90s looking backpack. Nylon. Okay. Really, I think that's it for the accessories now. Okay. Oh, Tori, you're trying to decide. I know I love cachet dresses. Some of them are really pretty and just unique looking. Yeah, I like them and they stand out for sure. So, okay, this I grabbed, it's new with tags. It's a, it's a size small. I've never heard of this brand. So let me know if you guys have, it's like C Heart B by Corey, K-O-R-E. Have you guys ever seen that before? And it's new with tags. It's kind of cool looking. But I was thinking about just sending it to thread up because it's new with tags. And I like sending new with tags items there. So um next is another new with tags item. It's a pop. And again, I'm probably gonna send this to thread up. I think. Yeah, I'm thinking that. This I don't know why I bought, but I thought it was cool looking. So <laughs> It's called Caravan Trading Company. I don't know that I looked up the comps, but it was just a cool looking dress. I don't know, kind of gave me like 90s vibes. I don't know. It tuck. I don't know what size it is. Uh, it's a large. Okay. Okay, next item is this Lane Bryant t-shirt. And it's got these pineapples on here. They're like actually studs and they're all here, which is kind of rare. I do need to depill underneath the arms. It's a size 22, 24. And, you know, hopefully I get about, I don't know, 15 bucks, 20 bucks out of it. Okay, so this is a Carol Anderson collection skirt. And it, is this all like the cabbie stuff, like early? Is it Carol Anderson by invitation? <laughs> Anyways, I just love the print. It's got these, what are they, daisies? So it's this maxi length skirt. Again, I thought it would be cool for Depop. If you want to follow me there, my username is just Elducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, as it is everywhere. Uh, this is a Lucky Brand top. And I like picking up Lucky Brand. It sells fairly well. It's a size medium, just black with a little keyhole in the back, like peasant top. <laughs> Bill, what's up with the pineapples lately? I don't know. It's a thing. People are into them, I guess. Same with that and like lobsters. So uh, Jenny, she had a line at Nordstrom before going out on her own. Okay, well, that's good to know. This is a J. Crew. Just plaid button down. It's a size four. I don't know, not the right time of the season. So if I get like 20 bucks for that, I will be happy. These are some Lululemon leggings that, you know, they need some help. There's a lot of fuzzies on here. So I've got a little project ahead of me. I need to depill it. They are a size eight. I'm kind of curious, are these like um, reversible? Cause it's got the a logo there too. I didn't know if maybe they're reversible. I don't know any of the style names for Lululemon. <laughs> uh, it's always a delight if my virtual assistant can research and find out style names and all that stuff of my Lululemon stuff because I never know. I did really well in this one bin when I was at Everett. It had a, not a lot, but a few lag and look brands in there, so I grabbed them, of course. This would be one of them. The brand is called Cut Loose. It is a size large. It does have some loose strings on the front, so I'm gonna cut those. But anyway, it's like this lime green. You can't really see, the color is so weird. I've got a window here and then no windows there, so. Okay, so there's that. I've got more lag and look pieces coming. This was just a cool vintage skirt. There's no brands or anything, but it's this green. It's even more green in person, but it's real cute, like pencil skirt. I don't know. And it's got a little bit in the back there. There's literally nothing on the inside regarding size. So I'll just measure it and put in my 
own stuff. Stacy, you learned so much from me. Hey, thanks. You know, and I learned so much from the community, which is really awesome. I, um, just like I've said before in other videos, it's like hair club for men. I don't just make content. I also consume it. <laughs> um, Morgan, what virtual assistant service do you use? I actually made a pretty lengthy and mildly in-depth video. Um, if you check out my channel, it says how to hire a virtual assistant. Um, spoiler alert, I use Upwork. But watch the video because it is really in-depth. Okay, so this is an Orvis sweater. Orvis is a good brand to pick up. This is 70% merino wool and 20% silk. I think this is a men's, I think. So there's that. I don't know how much I'll get for it. 30 bucks, something like that. I know people like when you say prices. I'm always so uncomfortable saying prices because I do so much research when I'm looking at comps, you know, looking at comps when I'm listing. So I don't think about this stuff beforehand. So, so I apologize, guys. Um, this is a LuLaRoe piece I've never seen before. It's a size small. But look at this. It's a button down shirt, like with this window pane print. Does anybody know what this is? I've never seen this style before. Like this is very new to me. I don't know. I kind of thought it looked cool. So I grabbed it. Um, this is a Levi's men's work shirt. It's a size medium and it's black. I just thought it looked cool. Oh, look at the pockets all flapped up there. I think I've looked up comps on it and it was like 20 bucks or something like that. So, you know, if I get 20 bucks, I'll be happy. It's not vintage or anything. It just is a black Levi's work shirt. So yeah. Oh, okay. Sonia, it's called the Amy shirt. Okay. Is it newer or older? Is it like a newer piece? Are they still making pieces? I know that they've been in a lot of trouble in the media. There's actually a really good um, what's it called? Not documentary, but kind of that Vice just put out on, well, I think that Vice put stuff out on HBO, but it's also on YouTube. You can check it out. It's something like just type in Vice, LuLaRoe. It's pretty interesting. So yeah, uh, they had it for a short run. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, a lot of time, well, not a lot of times, sometimes those pieces can be worth more or less. I'm not saying that's the case for this one, but all LuLaRoe if it feels unique, is always worth looking up, in my opinion. This is a J. Crew size extra large men's shirt. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see the colors, but it's red and blue. So maybe I'll put, like, patriotic in the title. We just passed Memorial Day. However, we do have Fourth of July coming up, so maybe somebody will want it. This I'm going to give to my husband if he wants it. I told him he could have it. <laughs> it's a men's Vans hoodie you know, it's in good sh shape. <laughs> it's kind of faded, but you know, I washed it and everything. It's not in bad shape. Now I'm making it sound really awful. But anyways, that's going to be for him. <laughs> okay. These are a pair of mini Bowden shorts. They are a size five-year-old. This style is called the techno. Now these ones, unfortunately do have these like bleach spots or something on them, just discoloration probably from a kid playing in them. But this is a bolo. If you're not familiar with these, the techno short, I feel like my, who told me about these? Oh gosh, it's escaping me. I feel like my friend Valerie styled by Valerie on Instagram, maybe told me the style name on these. If it was somebody else, somebody please correct me. But anyways, they sell really quickly. Um, the last few pairs that I had went probably within a week for 30 to high 40s. So yeah. Hi Vasquez Vintage. I'm also from Seattle. You know, Seattle being all encompassing of many places. Uh, this is a really interesting cabby skirt. Okay. So you can see it's like, I don't know, whatever, all draped and stuff down here, right? With this, I don't know, floral print. But, okay. Because when I was trying to find the tag for it because I didn't even know what brand it was in general. I was like, well, is it on the inside? Okay. So it's reversible, which is cool. And then um, where it splits in the middle here is where I found the tag and it is old tag cabbie and it's a size small, but anyways, it's a reversible cabbie skirt, which I just thought was interesting. So that was reason enough for me to grab it. <laughs> Uh, Grant's House of Chaos. Um, yeah, send me an email. I believe 
if I did it correctly, I did fill out the description in this YouTube video and I put my email in there. So if you could email me um, and I can just, I'll quote you a price and then invoice you if you're interested in purchasing anything. I do have people purchase from my videos. I don't say that as much as I used to in my videos, but if you are interested in something, reach out to me directly for a competitive price. <laughs> um, hi, Sonia from LA. Thanks for joining us. Um, also, if you guys are interested, I do reseller boxes from time to time, especially when I travel. And I have started an email list recently. And so I believe I also put the link to my email list. If you're interested in signing up, it is in the description of this video. And I may or may not be releasing information about a mystery box opportunity coming soon. Like, sign up today, <laughs> sign up today coming soon. So if you guys are interested in one, check the description down below and sign up for my mailing list because then I will be able to notify you there. Okay, so this was again from that bin that I found that had like a lot of lag and look pieces. So here's another lag and look brand. It's called CP Shades and this is linen and it's just, you know, a button down shirt jacket type thing. I don't know. It's got this like waist tie. What size is it? if I can find it. Oh Lord, this tag is not happy. Oh yeah. You know what? The CP shades, the size is like buried all the way underneath the tag here. So anyways, it's a small, but this is another lag and look brand to keep in mind. I think I photographed this. So I'm trying to keep things together and separated that have and have not been photographed. Okay. This top is Ecote, which is sold at Urban Outfitters. It's a size extra small, is that what it says? Yeah. It kind of reminded me of the Free People Trapeze Tank, which is a similar style, but longer. It dips a little bit low in the back. So there's that, I don't know. Hopefully I get like 20 bucks for that. Uh, these are, I'm like, did I show these in another haul? I don't think I did. They're roots, they're size large, they're linen pants, and definitely gave me lag and look vibes. So that's reason enough for me to purchase it. If you're not familiar with Roots, it is a Canadian brand. And I don't know what else to say. They're kind of like a Gap or Banana Republic, but more of a Banana Republic price tag. Uh -uh -uh. Let's see, what else do I got here? These are, okay, this brand's called Serenade. I'm like, what did I look up on these? I'm trying to remember what the comps were on this brand. I feel like they were pretty good. I'm sorry that I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, but the only thing is, but I don't know, I guess this isn't bad. The knees are blown out, but that's like the style now. So yeah. Uh, Sonia, do I own sewing a sewing machine? No, I have in my lifetime, but currently no. If I have sewn anything and I have kind of sewn a few things recently, I just hand sew it. <laughs> But I thought I flirted with the idea of a sewing machine, but it's just not worth my time. I'd rather either not pick up a flawed item or pick up a flawed item and sell it as is. So yeah. Um, the next item I grabbed and the comps were good on this, I believe it's called Jonah Mitchell. No, Michelle. And it's a kid's brand. Mm, there it is. It's a size seven. How cute is this dress? I wish I had a little girl to put this in. But anyways, this was a good kid's brand to pick up. Apologies again, don't know price for that. We're new with tags and I thought about sending them to thread up and then I was like, you know what? I'll just sell them myself. They are a pair of Calvin Klein jeans. They are new with tags. They're size 10 by 30 and a skinny style. So yeah. Does anyone here own a sewing machine and do major repairs to their items? I mean, I think that's awesome if you do, I just, for me, like it's not the best use of my time because I don't feel like I would be fast enough at it. But if you are at that confidence level of being able to do it, I think that's really awesome. Um, this brand is called Lavender Alley and it says homemade in the USA. And I feel like I found comps for this on Poshmark. It's just a little like teeny baby brand. I think this is like infant sizing. And I think the comps looked okay on Posh. It's size 12 months. I just thought it was so cute. So, you know, sometimes when you see the baby stuff, you're just like, oh. <laughs> uh, 
Bill Tory has one, but it's not worth the time. Yeah, you know, it's got to be the right item. Liz, you've got one, but you haven't used it for repairs. Yeah, we all have that pile. And so recently I've been trying to do a couple items in that pile just by like hand stitching stuff, but major repairs, it's a lost cause. That will not happen for me. So yeah, um, this brand is Agnes and Dora. I don't know, it's just a skirt. I can't remember what the comps were. <laughs> I do look up the comps when I'm at the bins, but it all escapes me the minute I leave. These are a pair of Spanx, they're size large. And there is like a teeny, like, well, not teeny, but there is a run here. So they will get priced accordingly for that reason, but they're in otherwise good condition. I do like picking up Spanx. They sell, you know, for anywhere between 10 to $50, depending on condition. So yeah, uh, this is a soft surrounding skirt. There's brand if you can see it it's a size small it's linen and it's kind of tiered in this blue color again i think that was in that bin of items that were lag and look style this is a pair of women's nike dry fit size extra small leggings little cropped leggings hopefully i get like 20 bucks or something for those um here's another cut loose piece this is a lag and look brand it's a size medium yeah and linen if i didn't say that i think they're kind of cropped let's see what else i got uh these are daughters of the liberation which i believe this is sold at anthropology they're size four and it's interesting the color on these it's like they're ivory but there's yellow tones to it like if you look at the inside it's kind of hard to see because my lighting is so bad right now anyways, but you see it's kind of yellowy in there. I hope this like doesn't bite me in the butt later when I list them and put ivory, but I guess I could say that they have yellow tones. Anyways, these are cropped. Oh, Vasquez Vintage, you hired a virtual assistant last week because of my info. Thank you so much. I, I'm glad that was helpful for you. I know that the idea of hiring somebody on virtually, especially for your business is like super scary. So I was hoping in making that video that I could break down some of people's concerns or fears or, you know, if they're being hesitant about doing it with that video. So I'm glad that it was helpful. Um, these are a pair of AG jeans. They are the Nomad Modern Slim. I think these are men's. <laughs> They're a size 31R. So that's why I was not sure because sometimes with men's, it'll say like 31, thir you know, X32, 31, 32, but these say 31R. So what do you think? Now I think they're women's. Hmm. Let me know. Please chime in. I would greatly appreciate your support in this. <laughs> Um, this is a Pearl Izumi, which is a bicycling brand. It's a size medium. I believe it's a men's vest. It's got this mesh panel on the back. Figured, you know, sportswear. I've sold Pearl, Pearl Izumi before, so hopefully I get like 20 bucks, 30 bucks for it. Um, the one time I picked up a really great, and I said this before in another video, a really great bicycling brand. It was called, I think it was, RAF, R-A-P-H, and it was this pink, just like that, like a bicycling vest. But anyways, I think I sold it for 80 or $90. So you never know which ones are gonna hit the jackpot for you. So yeah, Tracy, you think they're women's jeans? Okay, I'm gonna blame you later. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, these are a pair of Levi's vintage shorts, like actually shorts, not ones that have been cut off and made into shorts. And they are orange tab, which was exciting. So if you don't know about the differences in jeans, you should look into it because <laughs> they're not all red. Some of them are orange, some of them are silver. Some of them have a big like capitalized E, some are lower, most are lowercase. So there is a lot of money in the knowledge of different types of Levi's. Uh, I did wonder though, if these are a youth because they say they're a size 14 regular and this is a very narrow uh, waist. So I'm thinking it's probably a youth. Um, this is, I believe they're Fabletics, yeah. 
which there's no tag on them, but I did know that logo, which is Fabletics. Some of the stuff sells really quickly of theirs. If I had to guess, these are probably a large, maybe a medium. Because again, there is no sizing information on them, just little Capri leggings. Um, so, you know, hopefully 20 bucks for those, something like that. Um, I wasn't picking up this brand, but I guess it's a good kids brand. It's Janie and Jack. I guess their stuff's really expensive. I know my friend Ty always picks it up. These are size six to 12 months and they have, what is this? Is it a, <laughs> I want to call it a shark. Is that a shark, a type of shark? <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyways, I, I feel like it's like something else that I like. It's not like a marlin, is it? I don't even know what a marlin looks like. I just want to say that's what it is. Okay. Um, next item is another pair of, what is it, sailfish? Is that what it's called? Is it sailfish? I'm going to go with that. If you say it is, then it is. So these are a pair of Lululemon capris. My friend Hillary gave me this. Actually, pretty much like all my Lululemon comes from my friend Hillary <laughs> because she'll just decide that something is not worth her time. And, you know, because maybe there's just like too many flaws on it or, you know, the style is older, but I don't mind taking a little bit lower sale price. So anyway, she gives it to me kindly. So I do appreciate that. But anyways, so she's been passing on a lot of these Capri style Lululemon leggings. They are split here in the back. So I kindly accepted them. They are a size eight. Yeah, and here they are. I think they're just an older style. I think she gave me the other ones. Pretty much all the Lululemon I get from her. Um, these are J. Crew. I think this is an older tag of J. Crew. Let me see. Yeah, it says spring 2012, but I thought they were cool. They're black and they kind of don't look black, but they're black. And they're kind of like, I don't know what, like sailor pockets or something like that. They're size two, I think. So anyways, there's that. This, I don't know why I grabbed. Maybe the comps were good. <laughs> but the brand's called Lucy Love and it's a size large. I don't know if this is just like a boutique brand or something, but it's just a bodysuit. But this looks really like a very short body. I don't know, maybe it needs to be stretched more. Maybe it shrunk up in my dryer. <laughs> but I have a very long torso. So I, after I got this out of the dryer, I was just like, just like staring at it, like trying to do the math on it. Like whose body is this gonna, fit? I don't know. Didn't, <laughs> it didn't compute for me. Uh, this is Hannah Anderson. I like picking up Hannah Anderson pieces, even if it is just the top or the bottom of a pajama piece. They are these little Halloween ones. I feel like, and they glow in the dark. I feel like, you know, somebody might have had the bottoms and now they only have the tops and whatever. So I am here to supply them with the bottoms or vice versa, the tops. So this is an adorable Lily Pulitzer little girl's dress. It's a size four. Again, wish I had a little person in my life to put this in. There is some staining around the collar here. I did wash it. I didn't stain treat it, which I should have, but I'm over it. I photographed it. I'm done with it. It's going to sell as is. So yeah, Quelly's closet. That bodysuit looks painful, right? I'm, <laughs> I'm with you there. Uh, this is another Hannah Anderson one piece pajama. It's a US size three. And this one has the top and the bottom, which is even better. And then again, they glow in the dark. This is, oh, this is just a LuLaRoe basic piece. It's a 3XL. It's just a solid gray top, which I thought somebody would, would, would like that. You know, if I get 15 bucks, I will be happy. So this is a top I thought about keeping for myself. It's Zella and I love Zella pieces. This one's just an extra large and arguably it probably would fit on me, but I'm gonna sell it. It's kind of this purpley blue, with the ruching on the front again. 15 to 20 bucks. This, I don't know. I just thought it looked cool. I have no idea what it's for, but it's just this t-shirt, this pink t-shirt that says Hoopaholics. And again, I just had visions of it for my Depop store that I'm creating. It's an adult medium. I don't know what Hoopaholics are. In my mind, I'm picturing it's like a senior citizen team of basketball players. <laughs> which is super awesome. And now I have inherited one of their shirts. So, okay. 
Uh, Cynthia, you're thinking about starting to add children's clothes to your closet. Yeah. If you have children's clothes to be adding, go for it. I mean, I, you know, why not? It's money. Uh, Vince Camuto top. This is a size medium, just a black Jersey top. Nothing crazy special. Again, 15 to 20 bucks. Hopefully this is another bodysuit that doesn't look as painful. It's kimchi blue. It's a size large. It kind of gave me some nineties vibes because it's got again, not daisies, but some other flower and the snaps in the crotch, man, you know, you are like a child of the nineties. If you've ever had to <laughs> snap up your crotch <laughs> after you use the restroom, wasn't that like such a challenge? I always think now, even with my son, <laughs> if he has like a difficult pair of jeans, I'm like, are you going to be able to like get these back together? You know, if you need to use the restroom at school. And I think to myself, I was like, oh my God, I was snapping up my bodysuit. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, Liz, you're matching hula hooper. Oh yeah. Hula hoopers for the hoopaholics. Yeah. It's a senior citizen team of hula hoopers. That is even better. I like that story. Okay, so the next item I have is this Made in Egypt jacket, vintage, I'm guessing. It is a size large, and it's neon pink, and it kind of has this little foofy shoulder. Again, the color's not showing up the best, but it is very neon pink, and I just, again, envisioned it from my Depop store. I think it's the women's unless a man wants to wear it. And then that's awesome as well. Uh, um, okay. This is a Harley Davidson hoodie. It's just a white hoodie. I like picking up Harley Davidson items because there's a buyer out there for them. It's a size small women's and it's got, you know, this like tribal tattoo print on it. I don't know, hopefully 25 bucks, 20 bucks for that. This is a Madewell tank, a size small. I don't know what does that say Camino del Sol I know of the sun something was Camino I don't know um yeah so there's that okay this is a cool vintage piece that I just couldn't leave behind the brand is called Sharon Anthony it's a size small and it's like kind of this cropped top and then it ties here in the front like at the waist I don't know. It looked really cool. It has shoulder pads in there, which, you know, those are just awesome. Um, I've got, oh, Road to the Sun. Awesome. Well, Road to the Sun. How wonderful. <laughs> okay. So, or Path. Sandy says Path. I like all of them. This brand is Cotton Stuff Classic. So I'd not heard of this, but it was giving me lag and look vibes. I looked it up. So clearly it's worth something. I don't know. I'm guessing probably like 20 bucks or something. I think it's linen because it has that look that like raw linen has. However, there is no material info on here. So I'll probably just put in the description appears to be linen and I'll put lag and look in the tiles title. So again, 25 bucks, maybe. Uh, Tori, you like that vintage chop? Isn't it so cute? If you want it, let me know. I gave you a good price. So, um, this is the brand is called Harlan. I feel like it's anthropology or people have listed it as anthropology. So for whatever that's worth, it's a size large. It's super cute. I, when I was researching whether I should buy it when I was at the bins or not, I found really cute stock photos. Oh, my battery's running low. Okay. That's good to know. Um, anyways, I found really cute stock photos for it. So I felt confident about picking it up. So, there's that. The next one I have is this Brandy Melville top. I swear when I washed this, it got smaller, which makes me a little bit sad. <laughs> Brandy Melville stuff is already one size fits most. And now I feel like this is going to be one size fits extra small. I kind of need to stretch it out a little. It is just this little ribbed t-shirt. It looks orange, but it's actually a very pretty red. Reminds me of like a Taylor Swift lip color or something like that. Um, next I have, hi Angie, how's it going? Um, okay, so this Vince Camuto top, 
It's a size medium. It kind of is giving me like peacock vibes, like kind of a watercolor print. And it's got, what is this, dolman sleeve? Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's a nice little career piece. I don't know, 25 bucks, 20 bucks, maybe. This, okay, was just too awesome to pass up. It is Chico's, which is like, you know, don't always pick up Chico's. Can't really see that. I don't have the sizing info on this because they cut that tag off, but it's like this faux fur vest. Can you see? It doesn't have any closures here, but that's okay. And then it's got this animal print on the inside. It's super soft. I think 